Hey, I'm Rob North, and today I'm going to build a custom kitchen cabinet using different types of joinery, cut by the router. Cut a top, two sides, a back, and the shelf to sides. Lay out dado, dovetail, and rabbit cuts on the back end sides. Insert a straight cut bit into the router. Clamp a straight edge to guide the router. Make a dado cut along the bottom of the back and sides. Insert a dovetail bit into the router. Make the dovetail cut along the center of the back and sides. Insert the straight cut bit again. Attach the edge guide to the router base. Make the rabbit cut along the top of the back and sides and along the inside lengths of the sides. Insert the dovetail bit and attach the router to the router table to cut pins on three sides of the shelf. Dry fit, then glue the pieces together to form the case. Clamp and let dry. Cut two rails and two styles for the face frame. Drill two pocket holes into each end of both styles. Clamp and screw the rails to the styles. Add edge banding to cover the ply of the shelf. Trim away the excess. Lay out and cut biscuit slots on the sides of the case. Transfer marks to the face frame and cut slots. Spread glue along the outer edge and into the slots of the case. Insert size 10 biscuits. Fill the face frame slots with glue and attach to the case. Clamp and let dry. Cut two rails and two styles for the cabinet door. Cut stick and coat profiles on the rails and styles. Attach the two styles to the top rail. Add space balls to the grooves of all rails and styles. Cut panel to interior dimensions of the door. Slide panel into the grooves of the rail and styles and attach the final rail. Add European hinges to the door and attach it to the face frame. Click now for full step-by-step -step project plans or for other cool router builds.